Hi Pisces, this is your general read for the month of July. This is a Celtic Cross read. Um, please like, share, subscribe, or comment positive feedback. <laughs> um, <clears throat> if you need to know anything or want to like to contact me or to um, donate, it's all in the description box below. So right now I'm going to get right into this reading. Um, I did write a lot of things down. I said in meditation, your cards are already out. Um, so yeah, let's get started. In your current situation, let me see. Making sure I have the right reading. Yes. You have the seven of pentacles, um, which is your signifier, your current situation. And in, um, your challenge situation is the two of cups. I'm sorry. I meant the six of cups. Can't even read my own handwriting. I'm sorry. I started on some other readings for you guys and got into, really into it. Um, but yeah, the number three spot, which is your conscious mind, is the um, star card. In your subconscious mind is the page of ones. In your recent past is the page of swords. In your near future is the sun. In um, your attitude towards everything is like the three of cups. <laughs> um, in your environment is the world. In um, your hopes and fears is the seven of ones. And in your outcome is the moon card. So we're going to get straight into this. <clears throat> um, you're someone with a serious mindset. Even though you have a serious mindset, you also live in this fantasy world because you're so serious about life. It's crazy because, well, it's not crazy. It's kind of ironic, but that's how nature works. It always balances itself out. That's how the universe works. But you're so serious about life, but yet you, you live in this fantasy world. And um, because you, you think the sky is the limit, like you think you have to go in like, Pursue all the limits, and you don't. You can you can pick a high, very high goal and focus on that. Um, you're replaying some kind of sex scene in your mind, like maybe when you was a teenager or something that you had with an ex or something. You're replaying that. You keep fantasizing about that. Um, I don't know if you were in love with this person or if it was a, just a sexual thing, um, but it says you're not healing full time type of drug or sexual temptation. So some type of temptation, either drugs or, or sexual or sex wise, you're not healing from it. But spirit say you will heal from it. Um if you get this reading you'll understand what's going on. Looking for um a familiar love, possibly a childhood crush or teenage love or ex you know, like a girlfriend from back in the day. Or maybe um you could be in a long distance relationship that 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 picks up well. People in their long distance relationship have do have a lot of pent up uh, sexual, especially if you're being faithful. Um, yeah, frustrations. Um, but <laughs> what I'm picking up here is that um, <laughs> if it's a long distance relationship, it's not a sexual addiction. It can show up as a sexual addiction. It's because you're not engage it into intercourse so you need to find a way to balance that out something needs to something needs to give it a situation um playing with kids make you feel young or you could be the pisces that um is being around kids and make you feel old and make you feel irrelevant i'm not old and i'm uh, like you're older and you're wiser but all in the, the mindset of like dang like I, like you could feel irrelevant maybe you don't have kids and maybe you do have kids um but you're at a beach party something for kids it's a kids party or a kids performance um but I feel like when you're there you're going to be like talking about uh the situation your fantasies or whatever you're going through right now your crisis um you're going to be able to talk to friends or family, um, and it'll make it'll clear things up for you. It'll, it'll bring some perspective in, the, in this situation because I feel like you're just living in a fantasy world. Like maybe I'm sorry, my camera I keep hitting the table. I'm sorry. Um, maybe you guys are like since you don't, you know, you know, in this relationship on your spare time. Maybe you 
fantasize about the person you want to be with and it could show up as a sexual addiction it don't have to be a sexual addiction it could be you really want to engage in th- with this person in that particular way um you are uh, fear you're fearing having to work solo you don't want to work solo on something you want to work with a group and your fear is that you might have to work solo um so you could be another situation another scenario i'm picking up you could be um Cause I'm picking up like three or di- three or four different Pisces. It's like a storyline for one Pisces, then another Piscean energy come in. It's like somebody is being cunning and like severely sneaky, like just conniving about something and blaming others for their lack of success. Okay, that's another situation. It just come in. I don't know. I'm just picking up the energy. Um, or you could be one of the Pisces that's carefully planning something, and that could come up as obsession or addiction too. But you could be carefully planning maybe uh what you're gonna do when you see your partner or carefully planning out something to seem like an exception or addiction it can be that that because you're constantly thinking about it um that will take uh it will take a it said it'll take a lot of time to manifest and a lot of resources so that's probably why you're obsessing about it too because it's gonna take a long long time for it to come someone is out of your league or um being out of someone's reach so whoever you're fantasizing about, maybe you're fantasizing about this person because they're out of your league or out of your reach. Yeah. Yes. Um, this could be a situation where you have um, maybe a, a, a huge crush on someone. I don't even know how, how, how would I work this. Like you've been with the person before. But you never really got over that person. Um, and you just like, okay, when I get back with this person, this is what I'm gonna do. You've seen like every, you're playing like every ser- scenario over in your head that you can go through with this person. And I feel like with this particular um, reading, um, that you, you, you're you so stuck in your head and overanalyzing things. That's basically what you're doing. And it's, called, it's coming up as a sexual addiction because maybe you're thinking about something and it could be like a drug. When you think about this person, this person, this thoughts of this person could be like a drug for you. It could be like what, I don't know. I don't even know how else to put it. <laughs> it's getting weird. I'm just going to move on. Um, get inspired. Spark up your soul with music. Uh, gracefully dance, uh, graceful dance moves or someone, some kind of art you then will feel vibrations at a higher frequency and uh, love life a lot more. So get inspired. Get out your head and get inspired. Stop thinking about this person. (laughs) So cute, though. Pisces can be so cute. Decide. Overanalyzing options steals you away from the present moment. You have the power to decide today. Here and now, what will you gain is what would what you will gain is clarity and new chances. So maybe you need a new chance or something, um, a clarity of how to get this chance with this person or this project you're working on or something. Um, purity, cheerfulness, and innocence. The present moment is filled with joy and happiness. If you are attentive, you will see it. If you're attentive, you will see it. You will see what you need to do with your attendance of Pisces. I know from experience, Pisces can be very attentive. If they like something, if they want something so bad, they are very attentive to it, especially in a relationship. If you ever been on a relationship with a Pisces, they are very attentive. It's almost like a Virgo energy. That's how meticulous they are. <laughs> Pisces can be very meticulous. And that's how I'm thinking. You picking up, I'm I'm picking up very much Pisces energy mixed with Virgo. That's what I'm picking up here. And it's because I know what Pisces, how they operate. Uh, typically I've had experience with a couple of them. And the let's just say they don't leave no rock unturned. So I understand what's going on within this person's mind because I've probably dated something like this. Um but Pisces, you really need to get out and have some fun. 
you need to stop taking life so seriously and just have fun with life and just take the punches as they go. I know that's hard for a Pisces to do because you're so analytical and so watery. Um, but just stop overanalyzing things. Let's see. Um, you also could be um, needing to forgive yourself for something. Um, you feeling guilty about something. Um, and you need to, uh, for, it's something that you did. It's not something like big or major. It's just something that, you know how sometimes we hold ourselves to a high standard and when we don't meet that standard, we look down on ourselves. And I feel like that's, that's what's happening here, Vice. It's like you hold yourself to a, a very, very high standard. And when that standard isn't met, you look, it's almost like a Capricorn energy too. You look kind of down on yourself and you need to forgive yourself. You're human. You can make a mistake or two or three. <laughs> How many ever it takes to get to um, the solution of the problem to learn the lesson. And I think your lesson right now is self-forgiveness and then uh, you'll stop so assess assessing so much over this person and start an action towards this person if that makes sense all right i'm out peace pisces <laughs>